In fact, the referee, Danny McAleese's last visit here was four years ago. Northern Ireland's last come tonight. Michael O'Neill welcomes back defensive linchpin and set piece goal threat Gareth McCauley from injury. And Kyle Lafferty's goal glut for Hearts has convinced him he's worthy of a starting place. It will be 3 5 2 for Northern Ireland this evening. Conor McLaughlin at centre back for only the second time in his international career, and it's a first in a competitive match. Lee Hodson gets only his second start of the campaign. His first was in Germany just under a year ago. Well, Germany are deprived of a number of genuine luminaries like Neuer, Ozil, Goethe, Gomez. But plenty of the old guard are here. The likes of Kroos and Muller date back to 2010 in South Africa. Jerome Berteng, of currently beleaguered Bayern, and I can't believe I'm saying that, returns to the international scene after a year of injuries. Of the new breed, Leon Goretzka of Schalke is certainly a shining light. Sandro Wagner offering plenty of physical presence up front. Northern Ireland include three uncapped players on their bench, including the latest recruit to the cause in Millwall's George Savile. Three Premier League names amongst Germany's reserves. Fantastical, if you like. Funnily enough, the only person to mention it at four press conferences yesterday. With some useful and threatening work early on. Might come to Crow's edge of the box. Oh, and it's an absolutely stunning hit from Rudy. He could not have caught it any sweeter. And Michael McGovern left with absolutely no chance. They've stamped their authority already. Well, they put the pressure off from the start. We mentioned that 4-2-4. Cross comes in here. It's dealt with half well. It's put in. And you can see here the ball's knocked out. Outside the penalty area. And then have a look at this from Sebastian Rudy. That is an unbelievable strike. What a goal. You'll see it better from this angle here. Have a look at that. You you can't stop that. Behind so early on. Well, the good thing is they've got 80 odd minutes to catch up and settle down. Oh, and McCauley trying to get there in trademark style and not. The Evans looking to make mischief as they look for a quick response. Davis. Hodson. Corner. And Wagner. Goretzka arriving. And Wagner's in there. Great save. save. Wow. Watch this. And they can always find a distraction. Three in the box. Wagner oh, is one of them! Goodness. Well, fantastic effort. And a matter... Oh. Back to Muller. Ward, oh, it might run for oh. Goretzka. That's a... And so, in charge and in control, and it's Wagner with a beautiful first touch. Oh! oh. It's an absolutely magnificent goal again. And the game absolutely positively in their grip now and a place in the World Cup finals surely now confirmed. That's some turn and some goal. Well, we were talking about Sandro Wagner earlier. In defeat, turns. I think Gareth could have been a bit quicker to get close to him. And you can see there, that's a sensational strike with his left foot. Uh, have a look. He's too far off, I think, the first in the first place. It was offside, but uh, Kimmich certainly wasn't. Guinness is coming in around the back, but... Ooh. It looked like... Moved into the centre, as is Goretzka. Muller up well. Draxler! Well, there are numbers up here for Northern Ireland. It's really fist across. Oh, and can he get there, Corey Evans? Just Stegen to deny him. That's a great chance. By Corey Evans, it's left its mark on Rudy. Dallas flying forward here. Lafferty is the pass, though. There, as Draxler will joust her. Indeed, he'll bring it down. He's got a bit of help from Tony Crow as well. Yeah, that's what I said about that squad. They lose three or four class players. And... Oh, he's done well. still come off for Josh McGuinness. And here's Connor Washington. Chance on here! Oh, my goodness. That was the moment. This is brilliant. Diagonal ball we talked about, Chris Brunt. Josh McGinnis works really hard. A good signing and a good... Oh, oh. Here's Sonny. He's worked it. There's a sense of arrogance about it. It's Panhart's cross and a vital header by Evans. It's Kimmich and it's the third. Well, somehow he squeezed it in. 
And adds uh, another layer of gloss for the Germans. Well, it's his second goal in the World Cup. It's his third goal for Germany. For Joshua Kimmich again. Cross comes in. There's a good header initially from Johnny Evans. And you can see Kimmich. Way swinger from Brunt. McCauley back in there. McGuinness has scored! Well, some consolation for Northern Ireland, and no surprise it came from a set piece. Free header, far post. Look at this. Straight back in. George McGuinness totally on mark. And you'll have a look at this here. Gareth McCauley hammers it back.